did you know that desert rosy boas are one of the slowest snakes in the world, moving at only about one mile per hour? There are other snakes that can move up to 12 miles an hour. Hi, I'm Nancy with Arizona Game and Fish, and I'd like you to meet Cuddles, our ambassador desert rosy boa. Desert rosy boas are one of the smallest snakes in the boa family. They only reach about two to three feet long and compare that to their cousin, the green anaconda that can reach 20 to 30 feet long. Now these guys are small snakes, so they are going to eat small food. These guys love rodents and other small mammals that they can catch, but being so slow and so tiny, that means they have to be ambush hunters and they generally just hide and wait for food to walk by. They are a constrictor. Now that just means that they cut off the circulation to the heart and the brain instead of actually suffocating the item like we used to believe. One of my favorite things about snakes is how they manage to eat food that is larger than the size of their head. You might have heard that they can unhinge their jaw and that's not true. Right here, just like you, they have a connection between the top jaw and the bottom jaw. Now, however, unlike us, think of it like a rubber band holding that together so they can stretch that bottom jaw really far down. Now you can feel your chin and you feel that bump. They have another rubber band right there so their bottom jaw can spread out to the side. So a snake like Cuddles here could eat something about two to two and a half times the size of her head. How amazing is that? Another really cool thing, since we're talking about them eating, is how they find their food. Some lizards and snakes are going to have that forked tongue. And it's really cool how that works. They stick their tongue out in the air and it collects air particles. They pull that tongue back into their mouth. They touch the roof of their mouth and there is an organ there that helps them figure out what it is they're tasting in the air. And if it's a food item, well, guess what? If there's more of those air particles on the right side of the tongue, they know they need to start moving right to find that food item. So that forked tongue actually helps them with direction. Desert rosy boas can be found here in the Southwest parts of Mexico and Baja California. Now it's really possible to see them at any time of the day or night. Like a lot of reptiles, they adjust their activity according to the temperature outside. So during the hottest parts of the year, a snake like this is going to be active at dawn and at dusk, or maybe at night. And during the winter, when it's a little chilly out at night, well then they're gonna come out during the day and kind of soak in the sun and look for food then. If you wanna learn more about desert rosy boas or any of the other animals here in Arizona, please check out the Arizona Game and Fish YouTube channel or the Arizona Game and Fish website for more information.